Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be giving you a complete holistic overview about Azure security. So let's get into the video. Now let's start with introduction to Microsoft Azure. Cloud is such a buzz in the market today considering the numerous benefits that cloud computing offers to organization a fair case can be made that cloud computing is increasingly becoming a new normal. Cloud computing is helping the society to cope with future problems such as managing big data, cybersecurity, and quality control. In addition to this, emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, distributed ledger technologies, and many other capabilities are becoming available as services through cloud computing. As a result, every single business moving towards cloud and expanding their area of serving. And also, COVID-19 pandemic has further accelerated this adoption process. In IT world, you should not fall behind in adopting new technologies like Microsoft Azure. Back 2008, Microsoft took an initiative to offer cloud computing services to businesses around the world. Now, Microsoft Azure is one of the leading cloud giant in the market. Azure provides an ever-expanding array of products and services designed to meet all your needs through one convenient, easy-to-manage platform. Azure is only consistent hybrid cloud has more reason than any cloud providers, delivers unparalleled developers productivity and offer more comprehensive compliance coverage. Azure's versatility is proving to be its key attribute, making it worthy choice for businesses. eBay, Samsung, BMW are some of the biggest customers of Microsoft Azure and they are a great testament to Azure's capabilities and offerings. Now you might have question why Azure Cloud Security? Let's understand with an example. No one knew how serious the breach was when Dropbox, a cloud-based file sharing service, revealed it in 2012. Hackers gained access over 68 million user accounts including password. According to a report, hackers sold stolen credential on dark web. In another example, LinkedIn suffered when 6 million user password were stolen and published in a Russian form. In addition to changing their password, LinkedIn implemented two-way authentication, which worked out in a great way. Hence, to prevent a big loss of sensitive data, we use security techniques to establish the most secure atmosphere in the cloud. As a global technology leader, Microsoft known is represent an alternative target for cyber criminals and hackers. Keeping customers secure is a top priority for Microsoft, which is why they invest around 1 billion every year into security which includes protecting the Azure infrastructure. Microsoft takes to protect Azure customers by automatic encryption. Everything sent within the Azure environment is automatically encrypted. The Azure network has automatic detection to prevent dental of service attacks which we also known as DDoS. Similar to some of the largest services on the internet such as Xbox and Microsoft's Office 365. Other safe ground includes automated smart traffic monitoring and profiling. It is easier to detect and defeat threats. Systems know when something looks out of the ordinary, reducing the risk any threats pose that may have breached external security systems. Microsoft offers smart access control. That means admin accounts can run over separate networks that most team members. Managers can also control and resist access to limited time period device or even a specific document. We can say Azure is one of the most secure working environments that organization could use for software, data storage and numerous other uses. Now shared responsibility in Azure Cloud. So this is important to understand the responsibility of yours and the organization if you are an individual working on an organization or you are an organization considering a move to the cloud you need to understand which security task the cloud provider is responsible for handling and which tasks are handled by you these responsibility will vary depending on the workload for example the responsibility for software as a service workload will be different from infrastructure as a service workload which will differ from platform as a service and on-premise responsibilities. The diagram on the screen details the journal area of responsibility for you and Microsoft based on where the workload are hosted. As you can see, whether your workload run on on-premise or in the cloud, 
you always own your data and identity so you are responsible for the security of them you also responsible for your on premise resources along with any cloud component you control whether your workloads are hosted in the cloud or on premise you always retain the responsibility for your data your endpoints your accounts and your access management in cloud enabled approach you also able to leverage cloud based security capabilities for more effectiveness and use cloud intelligence to improve your threat detection and response time by shifting responsibility to the cloud providers organization can get more security coverage which enables them to relocate security resources and budget to their other business priorities now azure security services and some best practices azure security services are divided into some domains like journal azure security storage security database identity and access management backup and disaster recovery and networking over time the list of security services change and grow just as azure does make sure you get updated with all the latest security services now let's get introduced with some of the azure security services inside journal security we have azure security center it is a cloud workload protection solution that provides security management and advanced threat protection across hybrid cloud workloads the next one is azure key vault it is basically secure secret store for the passwords connection strings and other information you need to keep in your app working the next one is a monitoring service Azure monitor logs it basically collects telemetry and other data and provides a query language and analytics engine to deliver operations insight for your apps and resources now inside storage security we have azure storage service encryption it is a security feature that automatically encrypt your data in azure storage Azure client side encryption it's a client side encryption solution that encrypts data inside client applications before uploading to azure storage also decrypt the data while downloading the next one is azure storage account keys it is access control method for azure storage that is used to authentication when the storage account is accessed now inside database security the first one we have azure sql firewall it is a network access control feature that protects against network based attacks to database the next one in the list is azure sql cell level encryption it is a database security technology that provides encryption at a granular level and the next one we have azure sql database auditing it is basically a database auditing feature that tracks database events and writes them in a audit log in your azure storage account organization stores and access confidential information multiple times daily a business cannot let someone attack their systems right azure provide endless services to make your network strong and secure it will automatically alert you in case some serious trouble but there are some security practices that can ensure double security in azure the first one is manage your workstations daily a person need to access multiple website over the internet suppose you are accessing some confidential information at same times you are accessing some unknown files from the open internet containing some malware how will the impact your business you might be an easy target for hackers to inject malware and get access to confidential data the only solution is to use a dedicated workstation for sensitive and normal data tasks the second one is use multiple authentication it's always a security concern to make a authentication process strong to restrict hackers from trying any phishing or brute force attacks there's no way to make your system completely strong but you can make it much stronger some basic things like complex password and multi factory authentication help make your simple authentication process stronger and secure If you are not aware about the best practices then Azure Security Center is the best choice for you although it will charge you some additional cost to get the services on board and maintain it will be perfect if you don't want to compromise with security you can also use Azure web application firewall with Azure traffic manager it help us to prevent OSAP 3.0 attacks against Azure SQL databases You can reduce the chances of attack by reducing the accessibility of your components on the public internet. 
these are some of the best practices you can use to make your Azure platform strong and secure. After learning all the security concepts, it is right time to go for Azure Security Technology Certification, that is AZ500. Azure certifications are divided into three levels foundational, associate, and expert, where Azure Security Engineer certification fall under associate level certification. You might be thinking, why Azure Security Certification? This certification is a commitment of your expertise in Azure and make you stand out in the corporate world. The CV with Azure certification is globally recognized and highly valued. And obviously, a company more likely to work with a certified individual rather than who isn't. Now, who Azure Security Certification is for? So, this certification is for people with technical backgrounds who are looking to start their career and especially interested in security aspect in the cloud or those who want to validate their knowledge level around cloud security. And also for people with non-technical background involved in marketing of cloud security services and solutions. You will get Azure Security Engineer Associate Certification by passing Microsoft Azure Security Technology Exam, that is AZ500. This certification provides a way to develop your cloud security skills and also demonstrate your skills to potential employees, hence providing you with edge and practical knowledge too. These are the domains covered in AZ500 exam like manage identity and access is of weight is 30 to 35 percent. Implement platform protection is of 15 to 20 percent. If you want to recap all this, we also have a blog on everything you must know about Microsoft Azure Security Technology Certification. You can check out this blog by going on to the link k21academy.com slash az511. We also added step-by-step -step activity guide for AZ500 exam, which you can access by going on to the link k21academy.com slash az505. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if you're somebody who is preparing for the examination, then you can get access to 25 sample exam questions by visiting k21academy.com forward slash AZ501 and here we have Azure security sample exam questions that give you a first hand idea of the types of Azure security engineer exam questions that may appear in the final certification. So you just have to get here just uh, open your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash AZ501 you'll be getting this kind of interface click on download for free add your first name your email address your phone number and click on download now and then you can definitely proceed ahead and come up with flying colors in your certification exam we wish you very all the best